Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, better known as ID Crazy. I'm Jason Glaze, better known as Van Gogh. And this is Multi Rotor Racing 101, Part 1 The Takeoff. <laughs> now, you might think it's counterintuitive, the takeoff is pretty basic, right? But that's where most multi rotor pilots actually end up crashing. And the reason they do that is they take off and they end up colliding into each other. It's the most common place to crash and thus the takeoff, if you want to get racing, is probably where you want to focus at least some of your attention. So Jason, can you explain what a good takeoff looks like? How do you do it? Um, I just start uh, basically no throttle and uh, as, soon as, as soon as three, two, one, go, I just flip it and push forward all in one motion. And it just, um, it, you, the goal is not to balloon, because once you get too high, it's really hard to drop in under that gate. So if you try to just hit it really quick and then move forward as you're going, you're not gonna get too much altitude as long as you move that stick forward. And just, and go for it. I mean, don't, don't, um, you know, don't hesitate. His technique's a little different than mine. He's using a, uh, a standard PID controller where I'm using a floating point. So my takeoff method's a little bit different. I tend to arm my vehicle, get the propeller spinning. Then I will actually give the vehicle some pitch forward even though it's still sitting there. And that way when I take off, the vehicle will automatically transition into forward flight and take off. First I arm the vehicle and spin the props. Then press forward and you'll notice the screen blips. Then when I throttle up, the vehicle will immediately transition into forward flight and I'm ready to go. From a third person perspective, a takeoff looks like this. The props spin, I press forward then release. Then when I throttle up, the vehicle immediately pitches forward and starts racing. Either way you do it, you want to punch that throttle hard and then bring it back. Yeah. You've got to get off the ground aggressively and get out ahead of the pack. 